Aaron Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from Song of Solomon, the 8th chapter, verses 6 and 7, and the Word of God reads this way. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, for love is as strong as death. Jealousy as cruel as the grave, its flames are flames of fire, a most vehement flame. Many waters cannot quench love, nor can the floods drown it. If a man would give for love all the wealth of his house, it would be utterly despised. As you know, the Song of Solomon is a love song concerning King Solomon and perhaps his one true love. And normally they'll take this um, book and they'll make a parallel between uh, Jesus Christ and his church. Jesus Christ is the bridegroom and um, the church is his beloved. Now, whether that a comparison is right or not, the Song of Solomon is about true love. And true love can only be given to you from the Lord. True love reflects godly love. What we're going to see in these two verses is the strength of love. We're going to see four things. We're going to see how powerful it is, how protecting it is, how persevering it is, and how priceless it is. Check the beginning, verse 6. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, for love is as strong as death. Notice that the Shulamite woman, who is actually speaking to her beloved, which is Solomon, is saying, set me as a seal upon your heart. She's basically saying, you know what? Let me be sealed in your very being, in your emotions, in your mind. Just like it was a seal upon your arm. Because she says, for love is as strong as death. This is how powerful true love is. It's as powerful as death. Death is inevitable. It's going to happen to everyone. You're not going to be able to avoid it. True love has power that's as powerful as that. It's that strong. Look at the second thing. Jealousy as cruel as the grave, its flames are flames of fire, a most vehement flame. Notice it says jealousy as cruel, and the word cruel here means severe or hard or relentless as what? The grave. Again, talking about death. This jealousy is as strong as death. Its flames are flames of fire, a most vehement flame. This is right jealousy. This is the jealousy of a love protecting their love from what? Someone who's trying to divide or destroy their love by interjecting themselves in it. It's like someone trying to come between a spouse and uh, their beloved by, you know, tempting them or trying to be, you know, adulterous or just trying to destroy it. Well, this love has a true jealousy that's strong that will protect their loved one, that will protect the person that they're with. Check the third thing. Many waters cannot quench love, nor can the floods drown it. This is a persevering love. No kind of trouble is going to stop this love. It's not going, this love is not going to fade because there's trouble. And this trouble is equated to what? Many waters, like, like floods. Like if a flood came and overcame a city or a home or whatever, this home, if it was built on solid ground, even the floods wouldn't take care of it. This is what true love can do. It's persevering. And then the last thing, if a man would give for love all the wealth of his house, it would be utterly despised. Now, what does that mean? It basically means if a man could actually give up all his possessions and pay for love, give it up for love, it would be utterly despised because that love wouldn't really truly be anything if you could buy it. True love is priceless. You can't put a price on it. Dear Christian, these two verses show the strength of love, how powerful it is, how protecting it is, how persevering it is, and how priceless it is. This is the kind of love that all Christians should have. Christian marriages should be based on this love. This is the 1 Corinthians 13 true love. And if you love a spouse and you're both believers in Jesus Christ, you should have this kind of strength. You should have this kind of love that what? Is powerful, protecting, persevering, and priceless. 
And we see this in these two verses in this wonderful Song of Solomon. So this is Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verses 6 and 7. I just wanted to do a quick look because it's necessary for us to understand that when we see love in the scriptures, we can't equate it with earthly, worldly love. It has to be a godly love that has all of these elements of being powerful, protecting, persevering, and priceless. And you know what? This is something that the Shulamite woman wanted her beloved King Solomon to know as well. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way whatsoever, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please don't be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do as Christians. And until we do another quick look, read the Song of Solomon. I know it's not a book that Christians delve right into, but there's a lot in this uh, song. King Solomon wrote this song about true love, and we can get a lot out of it. I know it's poetry, and I know sometimes it's hard to understand, but prayerfully dig into it. And you know what you're going to find? You're going to find a godly love that is unmatched by any earthly love. And these two verses actually show the strength of that love. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And God bless.